Food Dude and Friends is brought to you by Visit OKC, inviting you to experience the energy, excitement, and welcoming spirit of Oklahoma City. Learn more at visitokc.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Food Dude and Friends. I'm Dave Cathy, the Food Dude, along with Julie Porter Scott. Hi. It's a uh, fair week, you know, Jules. It's fair week. It's fair week. The entire state, well, most of the state, anyway, maybe not Tulsa County because they have their own state fair. Right. But the rest of the state is getting ready to go to the fair this week. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, I'm going to test you. How about oh. that? Let's, let, I'm going to test just how ready you are. Okay. I have in front of me the list of new fair foods. Oh. Okay? It's out. It's out. Yeah. So I'm going to run down the list, and I'm, I want a simple answer. In or out? Okay. In or out? I can okay. do this. All right. You ready? All right. Yeah. All right. Bacon-wrapped Oreos. Yes. I'm you're, in. You're in. Okay? You can find that at the Bacon Habit. All right? Fruity Pebbles Korean Corn Dog. Yes. Okay. In. Chan's Eatery. You've got a, you got a winner there. Okay. Deep Fried Doritos Pickle. No. Out. out. Sorry, Diventuri. You're I'm out. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, not, I'm just not a big pickle girl. Uh, you know, pickles. Watermelon Bubble Tea with Tamarind Candy Stick. In. Diventuri, you're back. In. You're back. All right. How about a natural fruit popsicle? Oh, absolutely yeah. in. The kids, you got to take the kids. For sure, yeah. for sure. You fool them into that one. Who right? is that one? That one is a Wonder Van. Oh, I love a Wonder, Wonder Van, Van pop. pop. Yeah, oh, that's it. So good. My buddy Ben. Is that who that mm -hmm. is? Well, you know, they also have the young grasshopper. Oh. You try, I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's a grasshopper. So. Maybe, or isn't there a drink that's a grasshopper? I, I'm hoping. Yeah. Okay, let's hope Surely. it's the cocktail, not the, but it's the fair. So we do have to worry. You kind of got to get weird. You got to get weird. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on from Wonder <laughs> Van uh, because we've got this spicy pickle pizza. See, I'm just I'm just an out on the pickle stuff, man. What if it's on a stick? Um, still out. It's still a pickle. Yeah, it's still, still a, a pickle. pickle. Even sorry. If it, even if you put it on a stick. Sorry, Swains. I'm sorry. Okay. What about? Oh, here we go. Some jollof rice. Oh, always. In. Yeah. We've got it. We apparently have a new place. African delights with jollof rice, puff puff. A goosey foo foo and waki. I don't know what. Oh only know what gosh. a couple of those things are. My but kids love jollof rice too. So yeah, yeah. That foo foo. Will be a, yeah, that'll and. be a crowd pleaser. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now let's get back into the weird because what we have here. Oof. Sorry. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to influence you. Okay. You may think this sounds delicious. Okay, I love it. A cap and crunch chicken sandwich. In. Okay. See. See. In. We were not on the same. Okay. How about a cinnamon rolled cold brew pie? Cold brew pie. Cinnamon rolled cold brew pie from Cutie Pie Concessions. Sometimes cold brew hurts my tummy. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work yeah. when you just get a cold I'm brew out. and a cinnamon roll. Yeah. Sorry. I just I, I just love a cinnamon roll. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. And they have those. I mean, obviously. Last time I checked. Yeah. Big line. Or a churro. Yeah, Give churro. Me a churro. Churro with, yeah, whatever. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Good luck. Good luck with it, though. We, we know there'll be a lot yeah. of people into it. Um, there's going to be a, a Lotus Biscoff funnel cake. Yes, in. Wow. Okay, Wade shows. Oh, I love Biscoff. Okay. Funnel cake. Okay. How about strawberries and cream waffle on a stick? Absolutely in. Okay, waffle chicks, you got it. You, you. I'm a, you sold? I'm a strawberry shortcake favorite dessert of all time. Really? So that's. Have you had the one from the Hutch? Yes. Oof. Love it. Well done, love Hutch. It. Okay, let's get back into the list here, real quick. Um. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I like. I want to say it. A bro nut. A bro nut. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna say out. I, and I don't good want to idea. ask any questions, or out. I don't want to know anymore. Out on the bro nut. Uh, Friday concessions. How about a bacon jam burger? Ooh, I bet that's really good. Yeah, I good. love bacon good jam. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cinnamon toast horchata. Yes, in. Same. In. Uh, that is uh, agua fresca. Uh, the agua fresca counter. Uh, hand painted truffle bars. Well. Huh? That can't be bad. That'd yeah, be fun. I mean, sounds truffle. Like, sounds like fun for the whole family. Yeah. Okay. How about a cookie dough parfait? In. Okay. That's cookie dough monsters. Uh -huh. They'll have that okay. for you. So seek them out. Save one for me. Yes. Smoked PB&J. I have to say I'm out on that. I love all things smoked. I love peanut butter and I love jelly, but I don't love them together. Oh, really? Is that wacky? That is a little wacky. I know. It's a little I wacky. We'll have I to... also love chocolate and I love peanut butter, but I don't love chocolate and peanut butter together. 
I know. Breaking I know. news. This is some, I, I can't believe I agree to any of this. <laughs> but let's get back into the list where we find a saucy sister chamois candy. Yes, in. Okay, Graham Sweet Treats. How about a cheeseburger corn dog? Okay. I have to try this. <laughs> Pioneer I Wagon. I love corn dogs. Same. A good corn dog. Like a good, like a real. A really good. Like the Texas State Fair corn dogs. I know it's heresy, but. It's, well. What's good's good. Yeah. They're good. So we'll see. Cheeseburger corn dog. Okay. Pioneer Wagon. They're on it. A vanilla ghost pepper fudge. Vanilla. Or chocolate ghost pepper fudge. You 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 decide. I think at this point I'm I'm probably full. Yeah, you're it's probably not, right. I, I'm not. And it's not pro or con. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sounds like an out to me. Um, waffle nacho sundae. That's a no. Okay. That's a out, no from out. me. I think she's her mind is getting full. I'm full. Is what's going yeah. on. Yeah. So you know what? With that in mind, I, well, wait one more. Okay. Cotton candy crunch, ice cream. In. Okay. And that'll we're be back. my dessert. And we're back. Yeah. And we're yeah. back. Well, I guess the only thing we can really do at this point is talk more about the fair since it is fair week, right? Sounds like a plan. Who should we talk to? I don't know. Morgan? Oh, Morgan. That's a great idea. Yeah, Morgan knows. Yeah, let's, let's go get talk her. to Morgan. Well, Morgan. I <laughs> think she has time for us. <laughs> no, she doesn't. But, I know she doesn't. But, but, but no, we're going to talk to her anyway. Okay. And you know what she's going to tell us about? Not the new stuff. We've already done that. Yeah. She's going to talk about all the stuff that you're going to see, the blue ribbons behind. All the contests. All the contests. That's what she does. Yes, and it yes. takes a ton of organization and work yes. to pull something like that off. Yes. But she does such a good job that we never think about That's the right. behind the scenes of it all. That's right. So. Off to the Creative Arts Building. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> so, Julie, up at the top, we mentioned a little thing called the State Fair of Oklahoma. The Great State Fair. Oh, I'm sorry, is it the Great State Fair? Great State Fair of State Oklahoma. Fair. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the year, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I assume you're taking the kids. Oh, absolutely. Take us to the routine. I, What's the... We would, I mean, we could not miss it. Oh. Uh, so, you know, my kids are six and eight. Yeah. And their their birthdays are kind of around the fair. So we always kind of make it like yeah. a birthday thing. And they're foodies, mm -hmm. right? So we'll definitely do some corn dogs cinnamon rolls, that kind of stuff. But it's also fun this year because I think Robin is tall enough oh. that he can now finally ride everything oh boy. That, that comes to the fair. That may change the, his whole outlook on what to eat. It, exactly. Never know. Exactly. Never know. Will you guys ever venture over to the Creative Arts buildings? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Th that's kind of, that's more my jam, right? Okay. Literally. Well, I'll tell you what, today we're going to we're going to set you up with some intel, okay? That you can pass along to the to the fam as you're walking through to get them right over to that Creative Arts building cuz who we got today is Morgan Chapel. Morgan Chapel is with the fair. Hello Morgan. Hi guys. Hi Morgan. <laughs> Welcome. So, been busy lately at all? No, not at all. <laughs> no. No, I'm sleeping normal hours. Normal hours. You know, only in there from like 8 to 5. We're, we're doing great. And like not waking up in a panic. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. None of that. None of that. No tears at night when I wake up. <laughs> so, Morgan, the Creative Arts Building is your baby. Yeah, yes, very much so. Yes. So how long have you been doing this? Um, so, I have been with the fair... This would have been my 11th fair if it wasn't for COVID. Yes. Um, but I have been the creative programs manager since 2021. Yeah. yeah. So. So no, no small responsibility. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a year. I mean, like, tell me the truth. Like, you okay? T first off, tell us, tell folks who, what exactly you do. So I am in charge of all of our creative programs and creative arts contests. So that is your quilt. That is the cake that you make. That is the picture that you take. Mm -hmm. um, and anything for anyone ages 2 to 102 wow. that is not 4-H or FFA related. How many contests are there? That's a great question. I haven't done the numbers on all of that. Um, but for our cooking contest, mm -hmm. we do have 31 divisions and 252 classes. Wow. Wow. So. Wow. So that's a lot. It is. How on earth do you boil that down? How does that all come together? Um, one bite at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. It's so, you're, so what you're telling me is this control chaos. Very much so. And I am the chaos. <laughs> the agent of chaos. <laughs> but so people, they submit their 
yes. items kind of based on a schedule. Yes. And then you guys do intake on that. Yes. So we start our process by releasing our competition guides on June 1st. And then free registration is open from July 1st to August 15th. Gotcha. Um, and in that time, we get about 10,000 entries. Not all of them show up, but uh, most of them do. Um, I know that there's some people who are very ambitious on June, July 1st that the ambition catches up to them <laughs> right? on <laughs> August 22nd. Or like a meringue falls. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we do take in of everything except for our cooking items. Um, on This year we did it on August 23rd and 24th, mm -hmm. or 24th and 25th, and we judge everything on the 26th. Gotcha. And then cooking comes in on uh, September 7th and 8th. We judge on the 9th and everything goes in the cases and then we're ready ready to roll wow. wow so how many people i mean like how many contestants are you dealing with here? um about 1200. <laughs> I know, and i know she also has to wrangle a whole bunch of judges too who right? don't ever respond to her e emails on time and all that kind of stuff you know it's terrible sounds like you have firsthand <laughs> no, no, information no Dave. not me it's just uh, you sources, pointing the finger or? sources okay. close to the process uh. have, have indicated this to me i am well aware that you have some deadbeat judges <laughs> that uh, are very difficult so it's a lot of wrangling going on so it is I, i'm curious about your experience in the fair is it even possible for you to have a good time during the fair i do i do find pockets of joy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say that there are some contests that I make sure that I am in place because I love watching yeah. people win them. Yeah. Um, and I love seeing the heart and soul that that goes into all of the contests. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've judged enough. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> these some of these people, uh, you, maybe you can speak to this. Uh, I have recognized without getting too deep into it, that there is sort of a a class an a class if you will of the, in the at least in the cooking divisions where you see a lot of the same names a lot of the same cooks mm. and it's like they're i don't know it's like they're the lead pack when it comes to these contest cooking type things i wouldn't call them a class b class c class yeah. i would call them the people who they're passionate about the thing yeah. it's their favorite yeah. thing to do yeah. and it's what they do all year round yeah yeah, that's what I'm just saying yeah, they're competing yeah. on a different level. Yes. It's like even when they're yeah. not in competition, they're yeah. perfecting a recipe yes. or yeah. figuring yes. out if they're gonna yeah. try something new yes. next year. And there are some there are some very interesting characters if you come to the Creative Arts Building to watch <laughs> who you can tell that their heart, soul is in it. Um, there's one who she also takes her ribbons that she wins. And she and she works with uh, Tinker Air Force Base and works with privates, and she inspires them that hey, I can go out and get a blue ribbon. You can go do that in your life as well. <laughs> oh, great! Yes, I love That's it. Great. All in pursuit of this. Yes. yes. And to me, what I also have always loved about the fair and and everything that's going on in the Creative Arts Building is you've you've watched people do this your whole life. These are recipes that have been handed down or techniques that have been perfected over time by your family. And I think there's always sort of like a young person is kind of like, oh, I'll never do that. But then as you get older and you start making these things that have always been in your family mm -hmm. um, or you've perfected sort of like your pie crust, um, you realize there's a reason that this has endured. There's oh, a yeah. reason that mm -hmm. people still do this. And um, it always makes me feel a little bit, I feel like people always have this idea of what it's like to be from Oklahoma and what it's like to live here and raise your family here. And I feel like living in Oklahoma City, I don't get a lot of that. Yeah. Um, but when I'm at the fair and I'm in the Creative Arts Building Definitely. and you know we're, we're in the throes of this competition and you're seeing all those characters, I do feel like that's when you feel like I am a part of this community and I do recognize these accents and these, <laughs> um, you know, these, these sensibilities. The, exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly um, what you're talking about. Yes, it's very interesting to see the people and to actually have a conversation. Um, there's not so much in the cooking contest as the quilting contest. We do have some older people who do come in and I get the opportunity to go look at their quilt with them. 
And one year I had a, he was in his 90s year old man who had hand quilted. Wow. And it was a work of art. Yeah. So there, like you said, there's so much passion in these people that I wish I had the amount of talent that they have in their pinky finger. <laughs> but to each their own, right? Yes. Because if there weren't people like you willing to do this right. and <laughs> filter through all those applications and track down all those. That's right. Hard-headed You know, hard-headed. <laughs> That's a better <laughs> word than deadbeat. Yeah. I was going to have to do earmuffs. Um, I, I think it, you know, it takes that to continue these traditions. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but I, I'm sure it really does eat your summer and your fall and... Yes. Do you take life. some time off after? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, my vacation time is usually in the end of October, beginning of November. <laughs> after you've kind of gotten everything <laughs> yes. put after back together. After you decided you're quitting again. <laughs> <laughs> after I've had my fa fair fill. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. So, so, Morgan, where... How far away do people come from? That's a great question. I think... I know I have had people from Lawton come up. Mm -hmm. Um we are also in the middle of county fair season yeah and we did make a change last year that coincides with a lot of county fairs ah. so people would come to the county fairs and then bring their stuff to the fair and unfortunately to make some of our lives easier because um, prior to this we had to we took everything in the weekend before the fair we judged on monday and then we had two and a half days to get everything Ooh in cases labeled and displayed properly. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't seem. No, so we decided to take some time and make it so the cases can look nicer. Yeah. So we can present everything yeah. in a better quality. So because of that, we did have to take a toll and we did cut into county fair. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get into some of the nitty gritty here. I want to get down to these cooking competitions. What we yes. want to, we, anybody who goes through, through the Creative Arts Bill, you see the cases and the beautiful stuff. They are wondering, who's eating? Who Somebody ate it. Like, <laughs> do you get to eat this stuff? No. I have, I'm in awe of some of my judges. <laughs> um, for example, in 2023, just in our chocolate chip cookie contest alone, there are 24 chocolate chip cookies our judges had to eat, which you might think that that sounds I amazing. love chocolate chip cookies, but I promise you I understand. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah, we eat for a living. Yeah, that's and yeah, so oh, we that's get it. It's a lot to to try and 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 I think to remember the different aspects mm -hmm. and keep them all straight. I mean, it's not like you're just no. sitting down on the couch <laughs> with a plate of cookies. No, you're not. Well, and two, I'll say this as somebody who once I have been after I'm finally wrangled, I have judged, <laughs> and it's tough. And and plus, you get in there, and these people really do care. So much. They, they've, I mean, they've gone to a lot of trouble to do this, and, and a lot of them are from out of town, and to, they've gone to a lot of trouble to make a casserole to drop off. Yes. You know, and mm -hmm. and so you don't want to take that lightly. But on the other hand, you know, goodness, I usually do the peanut one, and there's a couple others, but oh man, I always feel sorry for anybody who's like on the back half <laughs> of the judging, because you you just can't help it. Your palate's starting to go, and mm -hmm. if somebody's really killed you with a lot of salt or something. At, you know, yeah. it's that, that can affect the next dish, too. That's little things like that that people don't realize. So, but at the same time, you try to slow down and appreciate it because, yeah, these people, they're all right there. And believe me, I, I learned this. You, you have to be careful of your expressions. <laughs> like when you're, when you're judging your stuff. Because they are, uh -huh, they are watching every detail of your reaction to, to that food because they want to know. Well, Dave, if you need us when you're judging to put up signs, do not talk to our judges. We we do have signs from when Melba used to judge because Melba oh, used Melba. to judge. We have a contest actually that named named after her. Yes, the Melba Lovelace yes. Yes. Championship Cake Bake Off. Yes. And um, I was told by my superintendent that they had to make signs that say "Do not talk to judges" because people would come yeah. on Wednesday at 10 a.m. because they knew she would be at the fair on Wednesday <laughs> at 10 a.m. to come and ask her questions. That's right, Melba. Yeah. They, they figured it's better to get it live, right? Than to write in, <laughs> you get your answer more quickly yes. that way. <laughs> yes. And Melba did not suffer fools, <laughs> so she was very friendly and very. I, I, she was a very hard woman to describe because. Just so friendly and so upbeat all the time, but she just did not waste time on stuff. Mm -hmm. Just moving on, you know, so there was no wasted action with her. So she was had no problem telling somebody to move on. 
<laughs> <laughs> and she didn't want to be that way, but right? you know, yeah, she took that job so seriously. Yes. I yes. mean, so seriously. Like, I can't, I can't really, I don't know that I can even now quite like describe how seriously she took that by the end of her life because I, th I feel like it, it sort of personified her in ways. Mm -hmm. You know, it just became a part of who she was being out there. And, and so people, she, she went out there because she felt like she was, people were there to see her. You know, like long yeah. after, there mm -hmm. came a point where she just, she really shouldn't have probably been going out there, but she felt an obligation to go out there. And you know, for what you described. Yeah. And we do have a lot of judges who think that, I'm sure our hard-headed judge <laughs> um, can take this, but that look at it as their family. Yeah. And yeah. these are, this is their obligation to the community it is. to yeah. give back. And some people, this is the only time that they get to see these other judges and they get to catch up and they get to find out, oh, you have so many grandkids now. That's so great. Yeah. Oh, you, you've retired mm -hmm. from your other job. Love that. That's so, so cool. Yeah. Let's do talk about some of the things that are going on because we were talking ahead of time, like this, uh, the cooking competition. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. It's a fairly new thing, right? The which the, the the one on the one with the stage the live oh the FCCLA yeah, cooking yeah, contest yeah um, we've partnered with FCCLA and mm -hmm. they uh, they bring all of their students out and they provide all of the the products and stuff like that we're just a vessel that's awesome yeah and they can come and cook they, they're coming for your crowd basically yes and and you're happy to have it because yes. this is kids cooking right yes yeah these yes. are your student mm -hmm. like in the various high schools middle and school middle to school vote programs. Age. yeah. And, and so, yeah, this is a chance to get kids up on the stage and, and, and performing and cooking mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. I love, and you guys just started doing that last year, right? Yes, yes, Yeah, yes. that's awesome. That's, that's great. Awesome. That's so great. Okay, so what, if, if, if you had to recommend things for people to come check out in, in the creative arts, what, what are your top? So, if you would like to be your own judge and you would like to be a People's Choice judge, mm -hmm. on Friday, September 13th, we have our Crock-Pot contest. Oh. Um, we do not have a hard-headed judge. <laughs> <laughs> we have, um, it's by the people for the people. It's about 40 Crock-Pots and you get to try a little bit of everything. Wow. Um, there are 25 spots, so it does fill up fast. So you have to be there right on time. Um, to buy your comp your tasting kit and then move on and then go hang out and then come back at six um, we also have a salsa contest mm -hmm. that we do partner with big truck tacos mm -hmm. and they judge the salsa and then we do have people's choice so again you can come and judge your favorite ones and we have mild medium call the fire department and a <laughs> fruit uh, salsa and that is on saturday september 14th and then on Sunday, September 15th, we have the Dairy Max Cow to Cone Ice Cream Contest. Oh, that's fun. Nice. So it's another People's Choice Contest to come and judge and help us crown the People's Choice winner. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't wait. It's going to be, it's, it, well, here it is. I, I, there's, no, <laughs> there's no more waiting, right? Yeah. No. No, Your life is now us. over for the next two weeks. Sure. I'm counting down until September 22nd when I, <laughs> it's a great experience and I love it every day of the 11 days, but it's rewarding when it's done. That's awesome. Yeah. So, well, Morgan, thanks for coming out and chatting with us yeah. today. Is there anything else that we need to, to let people know about? Not that I can think of. Okay. The regular old ways to get your tickets and all that stuff? Yes. Get out there and get them, folks. It's time. The Food Dude and Friends is produced in partnership with KOSU Radio. Food Dude and Friends is brought to you by Visit OKC inviting you to experience the energy, excitement, and welcoming spirit of Oklahoma City. Learn more at visitokc.com.